Hello everybody and welcome to Thornhill's Let's Play episode 23, I believe, uh, with me, Thornhills. Uh, Hidden Moment isn't joining us today, but today we're going to work on something a little special. We're going to head over to the skeleton spawner and turn it into a mob trap, um, which I always enjoy doing. Need some coal. Just one stack and a little bit of wood. Oop. One stack. All right. So our town seems to be coming together and all that. Uh, nothing too exciting there. Well, it's pretty exciting, but nothing grandiose yet. So I'm just going to run up here and head on down to that skeleton spawner. I might make a stairway from here over to the pit. Oh, oh, falling. Let's see if we can remember how to get there. I think it's this way. It's been a while since we came down here. Can't even jump up. Still a dark area in here too. Okay, around this bend and skeleton spawner. Excellent. I'm just gonna figure out which pick is which quickly. Don't need that one. Okay. So first of all, I'm gonna drop the four down by one and then another one. Lots of space. Just gonna shift here so I don't fall down any holes like yesterday. And scream. That would not be good for anyone's ears. Um, so some people have been asking who I watch on YouTube. And the people I watch already are pretty much the mind crackers. Um, I watch B00, Generic B, uh, Good. I think I started watching with Good. Actually, I think the first uh, Minecraft person I watched was probably CoStar, which I haven't seen any videos from him in a long time, but he was probably the first ones with the um, Race for the Wool. Um, that's probably where I started watching and learning how to do stuff. So yeah. Oh, running out of stone. Okay, so grab a bit from the wall. So I'm just widening it uh, just to give them a bigger spawn area. The more spawn area they have, the faster they'll spawn, and the more will spawn. So eventually I'm going to make this, um, I think, four wide on either side of this. It's probably not the biggest I could make it. I think I could make it up to eight. Oh, already spawning in here. Need some more torches. At least we know it's already working. <laughs> All right, so I'm really glad to have my storage area mostly done. Um, it's already been very useful to me. Um, and all that, um, and with uh, having the strip mine all done, Hit and me have both been down there doing the strip mine, uh, gaining as much resources as we can just to keep going, um, which to me is exciting. Oh my goodness. I need to put some lights up, I think. 
as we're going here, else I'm gonna get killed. Put one up here. So my plan is to have them spawn in this area and come to this corner and elevate her up and do a 23 block drop, which should be a half heart before they uh, die so that I can either one punch them or easily just use a small sword to kill them and gain all their XP. Now I know that the mob spawners is something that a lot of people have done and um, this is just how I like to do it after watching and learning other people and all that. My uh, preferable mob spawn is actually a cave spider, a double cave spider, but um, that is a more dangerous one and I usually do a uh, attack from underneath them to gain the levels and not get myself killed. But we're not dealing with them today, so continue on this. Um, so my plans for the area up top are to expand and um, hopefully hit the hillside and make kind of a hill town a little bit with some walkways in the future um, and keep lighting it up the same way as we have been doing. I'm really enjoying having the uh, light sensor that they add for doing the lightings. And we've already seen that that works quite well, especially in the style that I'm doing so far. I'm just going to put some torches back here so things don't spawn on us where we don't want them. So with having lit up a lot of the caves around here, it should increase the spawn rate a little bit um, within the mob trap that we're building here. Okay. So now I am going to place a water bucket there. Oh, actually, let's exit this. So I've been playing on the light resolution of full, um, not moody, and I wasn't putting enough torches down, so I've had to rework how I do all my torches lately, which has been interesting for me. <laughs> Coming along. Now all the water is pushing me here. I'm going to put a couple more there just to make sure the water flows and there aren't any dead zones. Last one, and now it should. I think there's one point of dead right there. That's weird. That's okay. Let's see if we can fix it at all. Just 
down there. There we go. That has eliminated all of the dead zones. Now in this corner, I'm going to come up here. I need to make a work table and make a bunch of signs now. Plenty of signs now. Okay. So now we'll need one here. One there. Bucket of water. And one more there. As I said, this is how I like to do it. Um, it's not necessarily the best way to do it, but it's how I've been doing it for a while now. No. Silver. Silver bull fish in there. Here comes another one. Buckets of water. Just gonna lift them up a bit. I should have grabbed some water. Got a little glitch there. So I'm just gonna go up one more higher. Grab some water again. And we'll finish moving them to where we want them. So now we'll want to move them this way. That's uh, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 13 blocks to here. Sixteen, seventeen. So that'll push them all the way over here. I'm just going to cut out the roof here. And then we'll drop down 23 blocks. So 
Okay. Let's create a ladder back up here. So the reason I want to be so far away is um, they can only spawn in a certain amount in the range of the spawner itself. So that's why I'm so far away. At least that's to my knowledge. Terrible, actually, but not bad. <laughs> Let's clean this up. Okay. So now with this, I can go ahead. I always like to be able to see into the spawn rooms. I'll put a little bit of glass here. And I'll go knock off these torches. So I'm not too worried about torches. a dead zone right before it now, so let's try to get rid of it. There we go. Is there another torch? There it is. Oh, get it out, get it out. There we go. So they should spawn quite nicely in there now. Actually, that's not a bad one. There we go. All right, and that's a little bit of a spawner. They all go up. And they'll all come and fall down over here.
is our little XP grinder and skeleton farm. So we'll be able to get lots of bows and lots of arrows out of this. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed me making the skeleton grinder. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and come back next time for more videos with me and Hidden. Um, thanks, bye.